Hi friends, so what have I been thinking about this week? Probably a lot of what you've been thinking about. Um, last week was kind of an unusual week and something that uh, I wished we hadn't had to deal with, but we did, that's the nature of life these days. So I've been thinking a lot actually about fear. What is it that makes us afraid and how do we react when we are afraid? I think right now we live in times where it's difficult not to be afraid, not because there's constant real threats to us, but because there's constant news sources that 24 seven, we are being drowned in all the things that could go wrong in life, all the terrible events that have happened or could happen. Uh, so much of the news is what might happen. It isn't what has happened. And so we get washed in this uh, pool of fear. And most of it is not really statistically realistic. Uh, in fact, statistically, we live in the safest time in history and probably in a very, very safe culture in our country. Um, so I think about fear, what makes us afraid. The Bible says so many times, do not be afraid, but it's, that's easier to say than to actually do, right? But I think fear gets rooted in our need for control. We want to be able to control our environment, make sure that we and the people we love are safe all the time, and that's unrealistic. We can't do that. We could never do that, whether we lived 2,000 years before Christ or now 2,000 years after. We can't control our environment, but we like to think we can. And so I, th I think that's where fear comes from. So what do we do with that? I don't know what you do. All I can do is tell you some of what I do. And I do turn, um, I turn to scripture, but more than scripture, I would say I would turn to my faith. I turn to that knowledge that no matter what happens, God is with me, I am not alone. Um, the, the recognition that I can't control most of what happens around me and much of what happens in my life. And so I need that constant assurance that I am traveling this road with the living Christ. Uh, I turn to nature a lot. I think you know that about me. I love to be outside. If it's cold and crummy weather, I, I'll be inside looking outside in my prayer room or whatever. And I, I get such comfort from watching the animals and the trees and the flowers and knowing that they don't worry. They don't live in fear. They don't think about, oh, will my leaves come out this fall? What if my leaves don't fall off in the fall? They, that's not part of what, an, uh, what a plant or an animal is. And that might sound silly to you, but it gives me peace just to look at them and think they just live. It just happens. They just go through the processes of their life. Um, so other things I think that you can do, I think listening to music is helpful. If you get, oh, if you do get overwhelmed by your fear, talk to somebody. I have found in my life that when I give voice to it, the power it has over me lessens so much. So talk to somebody. Just I'm afraid right now, whatever. But try to balance uh, being prudent and aware with statistically how safe we truly are in this day and age. Um, I do think we all want to keep this situational awareness phrase in our forefront. It's everywhere these days. It's not just at church, it's wherever we might go. Um, when we see the horrific things that happened in Texas on Sunday afternoon, we know that we can't control life and we know that terrible traumatic things do happen. But if we live in fear, then what happens is we're living in our reptilian brain as we talked about in worship a few weeks ago and we can't access our thinking brain if we needed to in a, in a situation. So try as best you can, I think, in this day and age um, don't doom scroll. Don't spend forever on the news. I There might be days that go by that I don't look at the news. I might look at the top one or two stories to see if there's something important that I need to know, but I don't sit and read all the news and the doom. Um, have a friend that you can talk to. Hang on to your faith. Listen to music. Take a walk outside. Take reassurance in the natural world that does its own thing and keeps going despite us. Uh, and, and try as best you can to live in a place that has as little fear as, as you can manage. I am glad to tell you that the situation at church seems to be diminishing quite a bit. Um, the Facebook issues have gone away. We haven't had any new uh, comments or followers, and so I'm confident the police have been wonderful. They have been a presence um, every day in and out of the parking lot, so they're keeping an eye on us as well. But I think that things have probably um, run their course there.
Thank you to all of you for your flexibility, um, for your understanding about the doors being locked more, and for your support for all of the staff and our visitors in our building. I appreciate that. And as always, I'll see you on Sunday.